now be recorded. Okay, I'd like to call the Site Plan Review Committee to order for Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. Roll call, please. Mary Kudowski? Here. Dennis Persick? Here. Dan Pamperin? Here. Gary Paul? Here. Here Rathburn? Here. Andy Krosky? Here. And Gail Quinn? Here. Please stand for the pledge. The pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And please remember our men and women throughout the world in uniform. I have no changes to the agenda. I need a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Motion and a second to approve the agenda as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. 5A, action on the Site Plan Review Committee regular meeting minutes for April 5, 2023. Move to approve. Second. Motion and a second to approve those minutes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Number six, review plans for the following locations. 6A, action regarding the site plan review request for Urology Associates building and parking lot addition located at 1385 West Main Avenue, parcel VA-831-1. Aaron. Thank you. Let me just bring up the yeah. diagram the uh, requested site plan review uh, is for uh, a roughly 5,600 square foot addition to the front of what used to be the former Zyquest uh, building. It's, no, not on. You're not yeah, on. I can hear you. Are you? Terry's working on yeah. There you go. There you go. Now it's on. Thank you. Uh, so to reiterate, uh, the requested site plan review uh, is for uh, proposed a uh, roughly 5,600 square foot addition to uh, the former Zyquest building on West Main Avenue uh, for repurposing as uh, Urology Associates Clinic. Uh, in addition to the 5,600 square foot addition on the front, uh, there's a, an additional uh, roughly 12,500 square foot uh, parking lot addition to accommodate the additional uh, staff and clients. Uh, as you can see on the screen, uh, here's the addition uh, wrapped around the front of the existing building and then parking lot addition uh, to the front right here and to the rear uh, back in this area. Uh, as required under our site plan review requirements, any new uh, parking or drive lanes are required to be curbed. Uh, they certainly can be either conventional curb pan uh, or rolled curb uh, at the, uh, uh, the customer's choosing. Uh, in terms of the building itself, I'll bring up the uh, rendering. Uh, you can see the addition will be a mix of uh, brick, stone, uh, storefront, aluminum, uh, window systems uh, matching uh, what's there already. Uh, this will be a nice addition uh, to the uh, building itself. Uh, the details do indicate uh, screening of any new rooftop mechanicals as required by uh, site plan review uh, ordinance. Uh, in terms of recommended conditions of approval, Uh, I mentioned the conventional curb pan or rolled curbing required for the proposed new parking lot expansion areas. Uh, again, screening any new or larger replacement rooftop or ground mount mechanical units. Uh, again, as previously indicated, uh, visible from the property boundaries or public right of way. Uh, use of fully concealed fasteners for exterior wall panels. Uh, and then of course the catch all meet all applicable requirements of the Ashwaubenon site plan review and all other applicable village ordinances. Uh, public safety just had, had one comment on here. They wanted to make sure that uh, wherever the new address numbers are located, that they are visible uh, from West Main Avenue and to coordinate the Knox Box location uh, uh, with public safety uh, at the, uh, the primary entrance to the building. If you have any questions for me, I'm happy to answer them. Uh, otherwise, there are representatives of the uh, owner or developer uh, in the audience as well. Well, I can say it's a very nice addition to the property. Uh, I'm sure it fits all the rules and regulations of our village codes. So I have no other questions. I'll move to approve with staff conditions. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve with staff conditions. Does anybody have any other comments, concerns, questions? Okay, um, hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 
Motion carried. Thank you. Very, very nice addition. Beautiful building. Thank you. Okay, number seven, department reports. A uh, couple updates. Uh, we are nearing the uh, end point of a full comprehensive update of all of our uh, permitting and licensing software that we, we use uh, to keep track of all the permits that we issue. Uh, we should be going live with that on May 1st, and that fully integrates with um, uh, with calendars as far as scheduling appointments uh, with contractors and everything else. So it's going to be a, a really nice uh, step up for us. Uh, a couple other updates for projects. Uh, the Hampton Inn on Morris Avenue, Morris and Borban there. Uh, they have received temporary occupancy. Uh, so they are moving all the equipment in. They're hanging pictures, putting the beds in, and they should be all set for their uh, planned grand opening on June 1st. So that was a uh, pretty ambitious project, and they met their timeline, so that'll be a, a nice addition to the stadium district area. Uh, top two floors of the Commonplace, uh, that's the Merge Urban Development Project uh, with Odyssey Climbing and Fitness. Uh, top two floors there do have full occupancy. So we did have some new residents move in already uh, into that new apartment building on Mike McCarthy Way. And uh, let's see here, last but not least, uh, e-plan exam, uh, our uh, Delegated a review agency. Uh, they did uh, about 10 reviews, uh, commercial building plan reviews in April. Uh, so, and they ranged in size uh, from a small build out at Bay Park Square to uh, the Bell and Comanche site. Uh, so, so far, things are going really well with them. Happy with the, uh, uh, I guess, the, the support they provided us in terms of questions that we have or questions that come up from different contractors. We can refer them directly to ePlan exam. Worked out really well for us. Aaron, I would just like to add, so our building inspectors, Katie and David, are over at the staff table, and it has it has been a, a huge help to Katie and David um, with the E-plan. Um, they, I, I, they're constantly in the building, out of the building, in the building. There's so much going on that they do, so thanks and kudos to, to both of you, and, and glad we have E-plan exam. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's department reports. Do we have items for next agenda? We do. Uh, there are two that I have already. Um, we'll see if any else come in before 4.30 today. Okay, so there will be a meeting in two weeks. Okay, nothing more. We need a motion to adjourn, please. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. We are done. Thank you.